呃，这一场由 Takanori 来自日本，也同时也是 PyCon Japan 的呃 member 之一，然后为我们带来 Auto Automate the Boring Stuff with Slapbot。那我们掌声欢迎他。Hi， Good morning， Good morning， Good morning， Good morning。Okay， today I will talk about my title is、uh, Automate the Boring Stuff with Slapbot。Uh, thank you for coming to my presentation. I'm very happy to be able to talk in PyCon Taiwan. This is great conference. Yeah,、uh, this is the、um, agenda of my talk. I will talk about the background and motivation for Slackbot, and how to create simple chatbot, and how to create an interactive bot, and how to extend the bot using Python libraries and APIs. And before my talk,、uh, take pictures and tweets. Welcome. Use with、uh, the PyCon T T T W Twitter and at the Takanori. But、uh, I have already published my this slides, so you don't take the notes for me. You are not you are not okay.、Uh, before my the main topic, I will introduce myself. My name is Takanori Suzuki, and my Twitter is at Takanori.、Uh, please follow me. And、uh, I'm a vice chairperson of PyCon JP committee, and、uh, I'm a director of Py Be Proud Inc. It is my job. And、uh, as a,、uh, I'm an instructor, organizer, and captain of the several communities.、Hmm. But I think everyone knows very well. Yeah, and PyCon JP loves PyCon to Taiwan.、Uh, thank you so many Taiwanese friends for coming to PyCon JP on this week. And our side, ten、uh, plus my friends are participating in PyCon Taiwan from Japan. I hope the relationship will continue. But PyCon is not the only Taiwan and Japan, you know. This year, I'm challenging to talk or post at the Python conference all around the world, and Taiwan is my seventh place in my PyCon tour.、Uh, I want to make Pythonista friends all over the world.、Uh, please talk to me. By the way, this is advertising information. My book was published in Taiwanese, Taiwan, Taiwanese language in July. Uh, please check it out. If you have, if you have it, I can write an autograph. <laughs> please contact me. Okay, let's talk about main topic.、Uh, first, I will talk about the background and motivation of this talk. I held the PyCon JP event、uh, several years in the past to, as a chairperson. As you can imagine, lots of tax, tasks to hold a conference. For example, talk arrangement and ticket selling and venue management and the foods and the coffee and the snack and the beers. Beer is important for me. <laughs> and the, the number of PyCon JP staff is 40 over. Half of them are new. Half is old. New staff ask similar things to me. Uh, for example, what's this information? Where, where is this information? How can I do that?、Uh, how can I use this tool? And I send similar answers repeatedly on Slack. But programmer is lazy. As you know, good programmer dislike routine work. I also dislike it very much. Maybe I'm a good programmer. Okay, we are programmer. I want someone to do my bothersome tasks instead of me with、uh, like a secretary. Let's make secretary with Python. The goal of this talk, you learn how to create simple bot and how to create interactive bot two way. 
and how to extend bot using library, Python libraries and APIs through various case studies. Okay. Why Slack bot? My secretary is chatbot on Slack. Slack is one of the chat system. Is there someone using Slack? Uh, half or more, thank you, thank you. Slack is one of the chat system. And the, I'm launching the Slack application at any time on my PC and my smartphone. So it's easy to access to, to Slack. I want to do everything in Slack. Let's make chatbot to Slack. First, I will explain simple integration with incoming webhooks. This is system overview of incoming webhooks. And when I send a message from program to webhooks with uh, HTTPS, then display the message displays Slack. This is simple, so simple. If you use uh, incoming webhooks, first we create uh, incoming webhooks URL. Uh, step one, create a Slack application. Step two, enable incoming webhooks in your application. And step three, uh, create an incoming webhooks. Then you get uh, the this like uh, incoming webhook URL. And create a Slack application. Application, application name is beerbot because I like beer. And the set a application icon, this is option. And enable webhooks, enable webhooks, and authorize webhooks in your uh, workspace. At last, we got a webhook URL. Okay, we have a webhook URL. Let's send a message to Slack with it. This is uh, we send a simple message with car. Car is a command line interface. When we send a message with JSON, this is text and hello Slack to the webhook URL, then display this message on Slack. So simple. But we are Pythonista. We use url.request module to simple message make a message with dictionary and JSON dumps and send request to request. Then display hello from Python. And if you like request module, request package, it's more easy. Create a, date, date, uh, sorry, create a message dictionary and then send request.post webhook URL and JSON call data. Then display hello from request, simple. Hmm. And we can send complex messages, like uh, this with message attachment. Message attachment is a message format uh, for Slack complex messages uh, with some fields and a name and uh, text, then display this mes complex message. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to my talk. Uh, please give me feedback about this talk. And uh, I love Felix Rabia Lego, and I'm from Japan, yeah. This is a complex message. And if you need a more complex message, you can use Blockit. Blockit is a new UI framework on Slack. And Blockit Builder is interactive prototype builder. This is the display uh, screen on the Blockit Builder. You can choose uh, these components and drag and drop, and uh, Display some, uh, and make a block it builders display, and then you can get uh, some JSON, and you can use. This is sample code of the block kit with Python. I make some via information, and via information dictionary, then create the uh, title and the divider, and then make the uh, text and f some fields and the image with images, then send. This is the result. Very useful and good, good to see. Okay. Uh, okay. This is a summary of incoming webhook. Webhook is uh, easy to send message from programs. And we can create complex messages with attachments or block it. But 
Incoming webhooks is one way only, program to webhook and Slack. But I want to secretary. I want to talk with bot, chat, my chatbot. Next, I will explain how to make an interactive chatbot. How to create Slack bot. This is system overview. Uh, if we send a message, message to Slack, and the bot user get the message, and uh, can handle it, and response to, respond to message, if I send hi, hi, I am Slack bot. This is simple overview. Okay, if you want a uh, Slack bot, first create bot user on Slack. First step, create a Slack application, and second, enable bots, and three, step three, add a bot user, then step four, install application to workspace reauthorization. Then we get bot user auth access token like, like a X or XP. At last, invite bot user to several Slack channels to communicate, okay? If you need more information, you can, you can see this link, okay? Uh, enable bot in your application and add a bot user, add a bot user and reinstall application in your work workspace and get, they get the access token. At last, invite bot to channels, okay? Then, I will create my Slack bot program uh, with Slack bot package. Slack bot package is a simple chat bot framework for Python. It's useful. You can use uh, pip install Slack bot. Uh, I make vm, then install Slack bot. Next, I make simplest Slack bot with only four files. One, file one, slackbot underscore settings.py. This settings.py is a simple two settings, only simple two things. One is an API token, bot access token, and the plugin package, that's only. And second file is a one.py. One.py is the main file for slackbot. It's so, so simple. And third file is init.py. Init.py is for packaging. And this file is empty. And next, last file, uh, sample.py, is a sample plugin. This plugin, if I send, if we send hi, this bot send hi, I am a beer bot message sent to Slack. This is interactive. This is file structure, okay? Only four files. Then I run python.run.py, with uh, the my beer bot, I send a hi message to chat uh, Slack, on the Slack. Beer bot send hi I am beer bot message to Slack. This is interactive. Okay. I guess you understood the basic way to make Slack bot. So we will extend it. This is on simple. Extend it. At first, decorator. Uh, Slackbot provides two decorators, listen to and respond to. Listen to is a message sent on the channel, but respond to message sent to the bot, mention or uh, direct message. Okay, I create the hi is listen to, and uh, cheers is respond to, only mention. I send hi to message to be a bot, hi, I am be a bot. But I send cheers, be a bot not activated. But I send at be about with cheers, you uh, cheers with mention, uh, be about to react cheers message. This is uh, listen to and respond to. Mention, message. Uh, we use message dot reply function. Uh, bot mention to me. I send morning message on this. Uh, on the Slack, Slack channel, and be able to mention to me, good morning, okay? And uh, Slack bot can react to emoji. Uh, if you need react emoji, message.react method, you use react message, react method. Uh, 
if I send a message with BR, uh, then the, the Slack bot react via emoji. I, I send, I'm looking for nice local beer bar in Taiwan. This is real question. And then the then uh, beer bot react via icon. Okay. And more interactive. We want uh, some parameters on chat. Slackbot can handle parameters. We use regular expressions with parentheses. It is passed as parameter values. If I send uh, choice pizza via sushi, then uh, the was uh, was the uh, sorry uh, was was parameters value is pizza space beer space sushi. Okay. This is readers. I send at beer bot choose pizza ramen sushi and uh, beer bot choose sushi and beer bot choose pizza. This is more command 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 like and more interactive. <clears throat> Next, uh, this is sample of uh, the command uh, argument handle with regular expressions. I send some numeric with PR's message, PR bot send PR emoji. Okay? I want three beer. I have to 100 beer. <clears throat> and Slackbot settings.py is an important file. And the important settings is uh, aliases. If you set aliases, uh, uh, characters, data, or something, uh, the data prefix instead of mention. If at my bot ping, it changed the data ping. More command like. I can use uh, the choice, beer, wine, sake, and I choose beer, okay? And Slackbot can handle attachments on the, also block it. Uh, summary of the Slackbot. We can communicate with the Slackbot. I send, we send message and uh, react with, from bot. Slackbot can handle parameters in messages with regular expressions. And Slackbot can send message in various formats with uh, attachments and uh, attachments and block it. Okay, I will show you some case studies combining Python libraries and APIs. First, calculator function motivation. I feel happy to call a calculator application on my smartphone. It seems useful if Slackbot as a calculator. Then I use SymPy. SymPy is a Python library for symbolic, ma symbolic mathematics. Then this is the calc.py file. Uh, the calc.py file handles the formula-like pattern and uh, calculate, uh, then respond, then send response. This is the result, one plus one, the two. Okay? Used for, useful for me. Plus plus function using uh, next case study. P plus plus function using PV or motivation in Python JP. I want to make a culture that appreciate each other. Staffs, thank you for your support. Thank you for your uh, information. And okay, this is P. Uh, I use PV. PV is a simple oral mapper. This is plus plus model. Plus plus model, only two fields, name and counter. Counter is plus plus count, four plus plus count, plus plus count. And this is plus plus command. If, uh, if we send some name with plus plus, uh, get information from a model and increment, then send counter. This is result. I send stop, plus plus, count one and count two. Okay. It's useful. Next case study, display Jira issue and search issues. Uh, motivation. Uh, PyCon JP uses Jira for issue management. 
Do you know Jira? Jira is、uh, one of the issue management system uh, uh, similar to、uh, GitHub issues or、uh, Asana or、uh, Redmine something.、Uh, Jira is very useful, but Jira web is very heavy. I want to check issue detail without Jira web because Jira web is very heavy. This is overview.、Uh, I send get issue and search issue, then Slack bot. Get issue information and search issues with Jira REST API.、Uh, Python Jira is a Python library to work with Jira APIs. <clears throat> This is authentication code and get issue object is a Jira.issue.、Uh, I can get Jira information and make some attachments. This is result. I send issue number, then by bot respond issue information. That's useful. And this is search issues.、Uh, make issue,、uh, search issue query with jQL. jQL is a Jira query language. Okay. This is result. I send Dara Jira some keywords and respond.、Uh, More, uh, at least five, five issues. It's useful for me. And the next case study、uh, create multiple issues from a template. Motivation. In PyCamp, PyCamp is a Python lecturing event. The, the, the event held, held the whole, all over Japan. Maybe every month. And in, in PyCamp event, one PyCamp event n e e d 20 plus issues are required. Then,、uh, copying issue by hand, I, I create the next venues, I copy issues, copy issues. This、uh, copying issue by hand is so painful for me. And Jira, Jira web is very heavy, you know? This is system overview. We send create issue command. The Slack bot g e t issue information from Google Spreadsheet template. Then Slack bot c r e a t e issue with Jira REST API. Create, 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 create. create. Okay? If you use、uh, Google Spreadsheet, at first, we need Google authentication. But、uh, Google authorization. But Google authorization is very complex. First,、uh, create a Google platform project and enable API, Sheets API, and download credential.json file. Next, install Google client library for authorization. And download quickstart.py file on, from GitHub. Last, run quickstart.py. Quickstart.py launches a、uh, web browser. And select your Google account and click the accept button. Last, we get the t a l k e n p i c file. This is an important file. Okay? Get spreadsheet dead code is here. The seat's ID and create the token a credential and build the service. The last,、uh, get information with sheet API. This is create issue method with Jira. Okay? Make、uh, some information with dict and send create issue. This is sample code, uh, uh, sample command of template command.、Uh, the py, the pycamp.create is a create issues for pycamp. Then the, the pycamp create place,、uh, target date and stuff names. Then, bot makes so many issues at last respond to parent issue. This is template.、Uh, category and、uh, title and date. Date means a delta from target date and the title and the description.、Uh, each row is one issue. Then, this is a parent issues information may be created by the template. One issue and several issues、uh, preparing and uh, reporting and uh, uh, PR, uh, 
Okay. Okay, this is source code of PyCamp command. Please check it out. Okay, I made a PyCamp command. I never have to copy issues again. It's more, it's so useful for me. At last case study, account management of G Suite. Motivation. Uh, PyCon.jp use PyCon.jp domain with G Suite. And I, o I only use Google Admin Web occasionally. I forgot to use admin screen. How to create new user, how to add a member to groups. This is system overview. I send the gadmin command and Slack bot handle uh, the command with G admin API. Okay. At first, update Google authorization for admin API. Uh, add Google admin, G Suite admin API to your project and redownload credential.json and rerun quickstart.pi and reauthorization and uh, get new token.pico. This is a uh, get user list code and insert user, uh, sample code, insert user and suspend regime and delete user with uh, gadmin API. This is full list of G, my gadmin command. Uh, user management and AWS management and group management and group member management. It's so useful. This is the result. I send uh, G admin list, get full of user list, and full of group list and uh, group member list. I can completely forget Google admin. It's really nice. This is so code of G admin command. Okay. Uh, summarize. I told this session, uh, I introduce about how to create incoming webhooks and how to create Slackbot and how to extend Slackbot with libraries and APIs. Next, let's make your own Slackbot tomorrow, day after tomorrow, and let's connect with library and APIs with your Slackbot then automate your boring stuff with Slackbot. Then you will have more free time so you can do other creative things more. Programming and uh, painting or uh, something. Okay. Thank you for your listening to my presentation. Shei Shei. Okay, I have a one question. Okay. Uh, how to avoid the three second response time limit from Slack API when using Slack bot? Ah, oh, I see. Three second response time limit. How to avoid? Which which API you use? But maybe uh, Slack uh, recommends uh, RTM API for bot. You know who who is the question? Who question? I I recommend RTM is good for you maybe. And mm, mm. and and man, uh, I think the three second response is not uh, not the issue for me because we send manually message, not uh, programmatically. Okay. Uh, what's the thirty second? Do you have any questions? Yeah, excuse me. Uh, hi. Uh, I want to thank for your talk first, and then I have a question. Have you ever used another uh, Jira service called Confluence? It's uh, like the documentation. 
And uh. in our company now, we found the conference is very hard to search. <laughs> so have you ever okay. had the experience that use the slab bar to carry such a the dark on conference? Thanks. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sorry, we did, we, uh, PyCon JP did not use conference. We use uh, the Google document on, for documentation. And I create the drive command the similarly. And uh, I create the uh, drive command for such documentation document. And I think the conference is similar to you can you can check the API document for conference. Then you can create the your bot. <laughs> you make time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Right, thank you. Uh Thank you. Thank you.